I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to represent points on polar coordinate system. The angles will be in radians. Let me take few examples. Let's say we have a point A which is uh, let's say 1 and uh, pi by 2. Let me say minus pi by 2 to begin with. Right? And then we take a point B which could be uh, 2 and uh, the angle will take as 5 pi by 6 okay let's talk about uh, another kc where the r when we are saying polar coordinates we're talking about r and theta let's say distance is negative which kind of sounds weird so let's say negative 1 and the angle is uh, let's say pi by 3 okay so we'll see how to represent these polar coordinates. Now, normally you will be provided with uh, the these concentric circles and they represent uh, this is the pole, that's the polar axis and uh, each circle is one unit away. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like that and then you can easily find the angle theta. Here we have divided into 15 degrees, right? So, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, and 90, right? So, so likewise, you can get all the angles. Uh, but what I will use is a rough sketch so we, and then see how to really plot it. So, let me um, sketch one. So, this yellow color here is kind of uh, invisible to most of you and that is the purpose also. As you know, when we talk about polar axis we are talking about a pole which is right there in the center and the polar axis is towards the right okay so that is a ray which is moving right from the pole now that is what our polar coordinate system is we really don't have any other axis so don't treat uh, uh, like x and y axis now let's see how to plot uh, point a here point a is 1 minus pi by 2 so minus angles are represented like clockwise, right? So if I have clockwise angle, that represents negative angle, correct? So when we say minus pi by 2, that means from this point, we are moving in this direction. Is it okay? So that is minus pi by 2. And what is the length of this? R is 1. So, one unit away from the poles, let's say this is one unit away from the pole. So, that becomes that because the line segment which will represent A for us which is 1 minus pi by 2. Is that okay? So, that is how you will get the first point. Now, let me say this is 0, the pole. Now, one unit for us is this long. This is one unit for us. So, this becomes one unit for us right so 1 minus pi by 2 this is not negative 1 okay 1 minus pi by 2 will look like this the second one is 2 5 pi by 6 so what we did last time was we went through the angle here again we'll do the same thing so let's look into this angle so this angle is clockwise right uh, 5 pi by 6 since it is positive is it okay so 5 pi by 6, how do you sketch that one? Okay, so that pi is divided into 6 portions. Let me divide it. So 6 portions are kind of like this. Now most of you will be drawing it on, on a paper like this, which has the lines, right? So it's very easy, 5 pi by 6 right there, correct? So that's fine. Now in this case, how do I get 5 pi by 6? This is how you'll do. You will divide your pi into 6 equal parts. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is 5 pi by 6. So this is the line on which we have to go. Magnitude, the distance away from the pole is 2 units. So this is 1 unit for me. So I'll go along this path and say, well, this is my point. So that becomes the point B, right? Point B, which is 2, 5 pi by 6. Does it make sense? Very simple, right? So that is how you get it. Now the point C is minus 1 pi by 3. How do we do this one? 
Now, negative distances we are not very comfortable with. So what I will do here, we will do it in two steps. So step number one for me is to plot a point which is image of this. So I'm writing this as C prime or C dash and I'll plot first one pi by three and then we'll talk about the actual point, okay? So let's see how this one comes into three, pi by three. So, well, this is uh, pi by three means this pi will be divided into three equal parts. That means this represents pi by three, right? So one part, two parts and three parts. Is that okay? So that is pi by three for me. So one pi by three, truly speaking, should be, this is pi by three, right? So the angle, get to the angle first. So this angle is pi by three, right? So this is pi by three for us. And we're looking for one unit away. So that is my one unit. So let's say this is one unit away. So that is my C dash, which is one and the angle is pi by three. Now, how do I get the required point reflected on the pole? So we get it along this direction. Do you see, just find a reflected image of the same, correct? So the point will be that much on this side. So that is the point C for us. So this is the point C, which is minus one pi by three. You get the idea, right? So that is how you can plot the points with negative r value, right? So what we learn here is that r can be both positive and negative. Do you see that? This is very important to understand when we're looking into polar coordinates. r can be both negative and positive, okay? Now, how do we plot negative values by reflecting it on the pole, right? That's one thing. Or by pi radians rotation. So that is the way to go along, right? So the negative value is actually pi radians rotation after you get with the positive value, correct? So, so that is from here, you go pi radians. Is it okay? Or if you're doing in degrees, three, 180 degrees. Is that okay? So that is how you get your points. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. I'm Anil Kumar. You can share and subscribe my videos. Now the question for you is question D, which is how will you plot, let's say, uh, let's keep it simple, one as the R part and theta. I'm taking this this time as seven pi by, by let's say three. Now, how do you plot this point? Remember, first you have to get the angle. So that's a test question. You can pause the video, think about it, and then plot. Okay, seven pi by three means what? Now let's look into our diagram once again. Uh, pi by threes are, this is one pi by three, two pi by three, right? Three pi by three, four pi by three. Okay, so five pi by three. Three. So, so, so we ha we have divided. I'm sorry. This is not five. Here we have five pi by three and six pi by three. Do you see that? So let's get back to this. Seven pi by three means you have to rotate like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. So you get back to this position. Do you see that? So you have to show your rotation. That is seven pi by three, right? So this is your seven pi by three. And now one unit away will be that point. Do you see that? So that is how you can get seven pi by three. So again, start from here and you get a point. Let me call this point as D for the time being. So D will be one seven pi by three. Do you get the idea? So you could do any rotation. It could be more than two pi. Just go through the circles. I hope that helps. So you get co-terminal arm, that's the concept, okay? You can always share and subscribe my videos and learn. Thank you and all the best.